Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Thursday, March 19th, 2020. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Due to the threat of the novel coronavirus COVID-19 to our shores, a number of measures have been implemented at Nevis's Alexandra Hospital. A press release issued by the hospital says persons with respiratory illnesses should not go directly to the emergency room if they are experiencing fever, cough, shortness of breath, or if they think they may be exposed to COVID-19. They should call ahead to the hospital at 763-5856. Medical advice, treatment, and transportation will be provided by the Alexandra Hospital if needed. These persons will be screened at the gate. If they are diagnosed with COVID-19, it is mandatory that they be isolated for 14 days. Persons with severe life-threatening emergencies can call 469-5473, 5474 or 5475 or seek immediate attention at the emergency room. Persons with minor complaints are asked to seek care at their general practitioner, family doctor or the nearest community health center. All persons with cough and fever are asked to refrain from visiting the wards. Visits have been restricted to accommodate immediate family and primary caregivers only. Persons who plan to visit the Alexandra Hospital should call ahead at 469-5473, 5474 or 5475. When visitors arrive, they will be screened and logged in. They will only be allowed to see the person to whom they are attending. All outpatient clinics have been suspended until further notice. Only dressings for post-operative patients and fresh wounds will be facilitated. While in the waiting areas, persons should sit one meter or three feet apart. For regular dressings, persons should go to the nearest community health center. As stated in the press release, these measures are for your safety and well-being. The following is an official release from the Ministry of Education regarding the novel coronavirus. The Ministry of Education has been actively monitoring the global spread of COVID-19 coronavirus. Ministry officials have been in constant contact with the Ministry of Health and have been making preparations for several different scenarios. We encourage the general public, particularly parents and guardians, to do the same. The health and safety of our staff and students is our number one priority. Therefore, we will make informed decisions based on the guidance of our health authorities. We will keep you updated as the situation continues to evolve. At this time, the Ministry of Education encourages all to continue to protect yourselves. We urge you to be prepared and to not panic. We advise you to pay close attention to the recommendations and information being disseminated by our local health officials. In this vein, we urge you to assist us in ensuring that our children are educated and aware of what is happening around them. Let us continue to practice the fundamentals of proper hygiene, which should be part of our everyday practice, and to remember the following. Reinforce the concepts of thorough and regular hand washing with water and soap, washing hands after every bathroom use, after we sneeze or cough, and before meals. Use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer if soap and water aren't available to you. Remind our children to practice proper respiratory hygiene, that is coughing and sneezing into your bent elbow, sneezing into a tissue and dispose of it immediately and do not sneeze or cough on others. Eat healthily and drink adequate water daily. As with all illnesses, the Ministry of Education stresses the importance of students and staff staying at home if they are sick. The Ministry of Education will continue to do all in our power to help to slow the spread of COVID-19. To date, we have engaged in the following. Partnered with the Ministry of Health in a school sensitization campaign, met with school leaders to discuss the plans for various scenarios, distributed additional cleaning and sanitization supplies to all schools, partnered with the Ministry of Education St. Kitts to create a response which 
which matches our federal context, met with education ministers and officials within the OECS to share strategies and further learn from regional partners so that we can create a plan which is in the best interest of our staff and students. Please be assured that conversations are ongoing and that our response plan is in place. We thank you for your understanding and support as we work together to keep our schools safe. Continue to monitor the Ministry of Education's Facebook page for further updates. The Nevis Air and Seaports Authority, NASPA, has established a Port Security Task Force functioning at all ports of entry under its preview to enhance security in response to the ongoing coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic. The announcement was made at a rapid response COVID-19 meeting at the Nevis Disaster Management Department's Emergency Operations Center on March 16, 2020. Among the topics discussed were the additional protection in introduced at the ports with health screenings by personnel from the Ministry of Health. Major stakeholders in attendance also addressed the existing border security plan and further actions to be taken if a case of COVID-19 is confirmed in the Federation. Operations Manager at the Vance W. Amory International Airport, Mikhail Manners, explained that the task force comprises of key persons in the Immigration Department, the Customs and Excise Department, the Ministry of Health and NASPA. He used the opportunity to outline the function of the task force, saying every time there is a flight with people coming from hot spot areas where people have to be quarantined for 14 days, the task force will conduct health screenings and also do a short briefing to all passengers about the COVID-19 and subsequently perform courtesy checks. Manners also said the task force has already been put into effect and has thus far been performing exceptionally. The collaborative work displayed by these agencies is something to admire, he said. The current spread of COVID-19 in the Caribbean and internationally, measures already implemented at ports and the readiness of the relevant agencies were also discussed. The meeting, which was chaired by NASPA's general manager, Owell Brandy, was attended by personnel from the Nevis Tourism Authority, Ministry of Tourism, the Royal St. Christopher and Nevis Police Force, Immigration Department, the Customs and Excise Department, the Ministry of Health and NASPA. Still to come, Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court issues notice for upcoming court sittings. The details after this break. Poetry Night. Express your masterpiece. So let me speak my piece, please. The glow is the gimmick. Come with your lyrics and a peaceful spirit. Give me a pad. Give me a pen. Give me time and I will think of words to take root and cultivate a tree. Not any tree, but a poet tree. Tree will gather under on the 21st of March 2020. A year of vision. Do you see it? So we hope you'd be there to a night of songs, art, and bars. But the real bar is at Kaiso. Welcome back. The following is a press release from the Registry of the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court Nevis Circuit regarding the spread of COVID-19 and court sit-ins. We have received communication from the court's headquarters in Castries, St. Lucia, encouraging vigilance and ensuring that all steps are taken to secure the safety of the staff and the general public who utilize the court services. A joint position has been taken along with the judges in St. Kitts to suspend court sit-ins 
trials and chamber matters until further notice. During this period, only urgent applications will be heard using teleconferencing or video conferencing. For any urgent matters that are not of the e-litigation platform, attorneys must scan all the relevant filed documents and send via email to the assistant registrar in Nevis. Persons who are unrepresented are encouraged to contact the court office for any matters which are urgent. With the agreement of the parties, the court can deal with matters that can be heard on paper. Both parties must give their written agreement, including via email, to allow us to proceed in this manner. It is important to note that the High Court in Nevis is due to commence criminal assizes on Monday, 6th April 2020. These proceedings are likely to bring together a significant number of persons such as jurors, police officers, witnesses, prisoners, defendants on bail, and other relevant staff of various agencies. In light of the various advisories we have received, we are monitoring the situation and will provide further information as soon as we are able to. We join with the administration in encouraging persons to remain vigilant and safe at this time. As a precautionary measure, the management of Her Majesty's prison has taken the decision to limit the number of visits to residents. That is according to a press release from the St. Kitts and Nevis Information Service, which also states that the community at the prison is considered especially vulnerable to infectious disease outbreaks because they live so closely together. As a result, starting Monday, March 23rd, visits to the prison will be limited to one person per inmate at a time between the hours of 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. from Mondays to Fridays. The management of Her Majesty's Prison is requesting the full cooperation of the public during this time, as the move is in the best interest of all involved. The measure will be in place for 30 days, after which the management of the prison will re-evaluate the situation. On the recommendation of the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank ECCB Board of Directors, the Monetary Council of the ECCB has approved grant funding in the sum of 4 million Eastern Caribbean dollars, $500,000 for each member, to the ECCB member governments to help in their fight against the novel coronavirus COVID-19. On March 11, 2020, the World Health Organization, WHO, declared COVID-19 a global pandemic. The ECCB is fully cognizant of the potential economic, financial and social impact of COVID-19 on member countries. Half of the grant was disbursed on March 13th to purchase testing and other critical equipment to detect, contain and manage COVID-19. The remainder will be utilized to procure equipment and supplies such as ventilators and drugs through the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States Pharmaceutical Procurement service a bulk procurement mechanism. In commenting on the decision, the Chairman of the Monetary Council, the Honorable Keith Mitchell, Prime Minister and Minister of Finance for Grenada, noted, we are facing an unprecedented situation with the COVID-19 pandemic. Our countries are very appreciative of this thoughtful and practical gesture by the bank. The Eastern Caribbean Central Bank member governments are St. Kitts and Nevis, Angola, Antigua and Barbuda, the Commonwealth of Dominica, Grenada, Montserrat, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Thank you for viewing.